So one of the things I've been working on is a little project that Steve Smith at Railway Laserline sent me and that's in this little bag here so let's open the bag now uh, and have a look at what's inside. So I've got some clear acetate and I've got some uh, picture frames. So the idea is the frames just stack together there with the picture, the acetate and then the frame around the outside. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put these together, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. Uh, so thanks to Dave I've got some photographs here. So it's Tate SDs, Class 47s. Uh, so I've printed these off and I'm going to put these inside the, uh, in the frame. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the frame. Uh, so I put the acetate to safe to one side. I'm going to separate the frames from the, uh, the backing. Put the backings so they're safe. I've got two different thicknesses, so this is really a test to see how they how they work and if they work. Uh, if it does work and they look successful and look good, I'm sure these will be rolled out across the range, uh, and you guys buy them yourself. But they are nice for build, you know, for adding that extra bit of detail to buildings. Uh, so let's see what they look like. Try and keep the different thicknesses separated. Okay. So I've been interested enough is I'm going to just paint them black. So I'm going to use Tamiya, a flat black, X1. I'm going to do the paint sort of neat straight onto the, the cardboard or the, the board uh, because it is bored and it's going to absorb moisture. Uh, the one thing, the best advice I can probably give is to uh, is to use a paint neat, but to do it in very very light coats, so to build it up very slowly. Uh, don't try and paint paint the morning one go. Uh, so I've got a tiny bit of paint in there. I'm going to get myself a cocktail stick just so I can, because uh, I think these are going to fly as soon as I start to fly. Uh, Yeah, they are. I'm hardly putting back on the trigger. Highly pulling back on the trigger and I'm just adding, doing really light. So I built it nice and slowly. Get the next one in. And so we mean as soon as you let go, if you've got any air pressure on it, it just flies because it's no way to me at all. Then it dry back. And sometimes you're just going from paint to air and back to air flip right back and then go back to the paint.
And there you go, I think, I think you see me paint enough now. So you can see they do fly around quite easily. Uh, so it is a case of taking your time, probably doing one frame at a time. Uh, like use the air to hold it down, using the air to dry, dry it off. You could paint it by hand. Uh, the only concern with painting by hand with a brush is if you get too much paint on it, it could sort of uh, do damage to the uh, the frames because they're only like I said they're only they're only laser board uh, so they're gonna absorb moisture uh, and if you get it too wet too quick they'll just swell or uh, go funky shapes so that's why I'd, I'd use my airbrush uh, but if you haven't got an airbrush have a go with a paintbrush and see how you get on but we'll leave this to dry off now and then we'll come back and see what we do next so what I've done now is I've got the this is a thinner card and I've cut one of the pictures of a class 47 so this is taken inside uh, David's TMD so all I'm going to do is put the picture over the uh, the backboard over the picture first to make sure I can fit it in give me an idea of how it's going to look so the frame is a bit smaller than the uh, picture is a bit smaller than the back end which isn't a problem if I work on sort of this corner here and go out from there so I'm going to cut like there. Do the sound on the bottom. Get rid of them. And just go across there. Okay, yeah, I've got some put stick. So I can put put stick on the back of the uh, the photograph. Without this, it won't damage the uh, because being a water, being a printer on paper, I don't use anything too wet because it might smudge or damage the picture. So by using this, it's not going to damage the print. and just take off the excess and hopefully we've got our print which there you go for show you there then we can take our frame put the frame back over the top like so. And for this I'm going to use a tiny bit of, again I'm going to try, I'm going to try the put stick again, so this works. Anything a bit more substantial than put stick to be fair. And there we go. One photograph, picture in a frame. Um, forget to focus. It's got on the wall. Uh, this is these, these are the ones that are going to go in the main in the main room, which is the uh, the canteen. So 
I'm not going to bother. I'm not done this acetate on this one. Uh, I'm going to go with that with the thicker ones. But I'm going to try something a bit different to the, just the black paint on those. So that's the first one. I'll leave this to dry off, uh, and we'll do the next one. Okay, so with this one, this is a thicker card. I'm going to do something a bit different. So I'll give this the coat black to start with, which is what's called uh, base coating. So I'm now going to use a uh, Mr. Metal Color Chrome Silver. Uh, this is a metalizer paint. So you can actually buff, buff it up to quite a nice shiny finish if you want to buff it. Uh, I don't know how well this is going to buff on a picture frame, but we'll give it a go. Uh, but what I've done now is I've changed my airbrush from my Eclipse to my Neo. So I'm using a metalizer paint. I only ever use acrylics through my Eclipse. Uh, so because I'm going to be spraying a metalizer paint, I'm using my my Neo instead of me like the Eclipse. So I give this a really good shake. Cup of pet. And let's see how this goes. I don't know how it's going to work. This really is. Uh, something very different this is quite a thin paint as well so uh, I need very much again I get me cotton bud me a uh, thing to hold it down There you go, it looks quite a nice effect, doesn't it? Quite... Okay, so move that to one side. I think I do the other, the same. Because the idea of putting the black down first is just so it gives the, the foam a bit of depth and thickness. Being a metalizer paint, there was, it does give off a bit of a smell, so make sure uh, uh, wherever you're doing this is ventilated and you've got windows open. I know I'm not wearing a mask, which I should do really, but uh, I struggle to speak when I'm talking when I've got a mask on, and you, so you can't really hear what I'm saying. Uh,
and there you go so it's a picture frames so it's a bit different so I've got some in black I've got some in silver there you go so I'll start to put these back together now so like I said these are these are buffable paints so but the idea is you paint it paint it on and then polish it so if you give it 10-15 minutes to dry off or dry back uh, so what I've got he's got two picture frames there I've, all I've done is spray them so far so one on the on this side the left hand side the right hand side to you uh, I'm going to leave the one on this side I'm going to buff so all I'm doing is get my, my finger obviously being very careful just and I'm just rubbing it doesn't make a bit of a mess of your finger but the more you polish it the shiny it will become If I bring the two back together again, I'm hoping you can catch in. I'm hoping you can see the difference. To my, to my eye, this one is definitely shinier than this one. I don't know if the camera will pick up on that, uh, but yeah. So, okay, it leaves a bit of a mess of your finger, uh, but you should be able to clean that off quite easily. So I'm going to crack on and polish these up. So much the same as the last picture I did. Uh, so I've got this one, I've got the HSTs. I used put stick to glue it to the board. This time I'm using the thicker board. Uh, and what I'm going to do now, now I've got some uh, micro crystal clear uh, glue. And all I'm going to do is put a tiny bit on, a, on, a, on the end of a... Uh, And just run around the edge of the picture picture frame really being careful not to get any on the uh, And I'm going to drop this over the top carefully and hopefully this will sort of grab the plastic and actually it should dry clear anyway but I'm trying to get it on avoid getting it on the picture I'm going to do the same with the picture frame tiny bit on the back of the frame uh, on top of the frame trying to keep it square trying to keep the glue away from I get a clean cut plastic very clean Right. 
clean up the edges and there we have from its focus one picture even got the glisten of the glass on there with a couple of hydro you can just about see the third HSD the nose sticking out but what a nice little picture that looks uh, so I'm going to make some more up so these are the first batch I've got with Dean Park on uh, Richard at Everard Junction is kindly off he's going to do the same for me to send me some pictures so look out for those uh, around the office so thanks to thanks Dave thanks to Richard uh, for sending to me and uh, yeah look good and also thanks to Steve at Lazy Lines uh, you know it's an idea I put to him and uh, he said yeah I'll give it a go see how it works but I think it's definitely worth looking at I don't know how they'll work in double O because you know the pictures will be half the size uh, but when I make the smaller frames up with the smaller pictures that might give you a better indication of what the bigger frames would look like in double O uh, but yeah I'm pleased so let's crack on with them <laughs> 